Well, everyone, GDC, the Game Developers Conference, is upon us once again, and Bungie will be speaking at four events this year. Now, Bungie released a tweet yesterday saying that the presentations at GDC are behind closed doors, but we have plans for how we may share the details of those talks with you later. How these events will be shared is unknown at this point. They could just be released in their entirety, or Bungie just might give us snippets of information. But a point I want to make is that this is the Game Developers Conference. This is not E3, this is not PAX, this is not meant for the average game enthusiast. The people going to these lectures are game devs, hence the name of the conference. These lectures will feature a lot of technical talk about games. Their focus, in this case Bungie's focus, is not to show off Destiny in a way that's pleasing for fans of the game, but in a way that's pleasing for game devs attending these lectures. Now you might say to me, well, last year's GDC featured a ton of info about Destiny. Yes, but that was their intention as they were explaining how they were transitioning to a completely new IP and how they built it from the ground up. If anything, the lecture you're going to want to look out for is the one titled Building Customizable Characters for Bungie's Destiny, but I'll elaborate more on that soon. All that being said, let's briefly go over what they're going to be talking about at these four lectures. All of the times for the lectures are Pacific Daylight Time. So the first lecture is on Wednesday, which is today, the 19th, from 2 to 3 p.m. This lecture is called Face Animation Retargeting in Destiny. In Face Animation Retargeting in Destiny, we'll explain how we were able to achieve high quality face animation in our real time cinematics. We'll show how 42 player selectable heads shared one animation across different alien and robot races and genders, and blah blah blah, you guys know how to read. So what are you gonna learn from this? You'll learn how Bungie designed a pipeline to share animation among a variety of faces, including how to design high quality face rigs and how to properly parameterize your data for maximum quality and flexibility. You'll also learn techniques to improve quality regardless of your face animation technology or pipeline. Now, just to emphasize a point made earlier, the intended audience for this lecture are character riggers and animation engineers. Notice how it did not say 24 year old dude in a studio apartment wanting to find out more about Destiny. The next lecture is called Designing the Bungie Animation Workflow. This is on the 20th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. In this animation presentation, we will be discussing the scope of our latest game Destiny, the challenges our team faced, and the solutions that we discovered. We'll break down what it means to animate an immersive character performance with a focus on efficiency and Bungie's high quality bar. We'll describe how we rig, create, and solve animation playback in Maya and in our game engine. We'll demonstrate our process and our findings by giving you a behind the scenes look at our secret bungee sauce. You will get to see footage in raw form before it becomes the shiny polished game released into the wild. The viewer will have the opportunity to learn from our experiences creating animation for Destiny. The third lecture, and the one that I really suggest you guys focus on should they become available to us, is called Building Customizable Characters for Bungie's Destiny. It is on Friday from 10 to 11 a.m. With the increasing complexity and fidelity of character content, player customization is an ever-present challenge facing many game developers. Destiny's player customization system is highly ambitious and unlike anything seen in a first-person shooter thus far. This talk focuses on the tools and process Bungie built to create a large variety of high quality character content with a system that makes the most out of the art created, allows for continued growth and expandability over the lifetime of the franchise, and gives artists the ability to make strong visual impacts quickly and easily. After this talk, you will have a better understanding of the challenges a highly customizable player system presents, a clear example of how Bungie chose to face these problems, including where we succeeded and where we failed. The final lecture is called Evolving Bungie's Production Practices for a Brave New World, which is 30 minutes after the third lecture ends, so that's Friday from 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Bungie is a company that has more than doubled its size since going independent and moving on from Halo. In their effort to build a new IP and universe in Destiny, they have also rebuilt their software engine from the ground up and embraced multi-platform cross-generational console development. 
These events have led Bungie through a state of transformative change on a level never before experienced by the developer. This talk will present three concepts which have deeply influenced Bungie's production philosophy and reveal specific production practices adopted in response to these challenges. So there you guys go, those are all of the events for this week. I really, really, really want to emphasize again that GDC is not E3. They might rhyme, they are not the same. There's a slim chance that we might not learn any new game information at all. Don't be surprised if this happens, as Bungie's intention is to teach other developers how they built Destiny, not to show it to fans. Two of the four lectures focus solely on animation processes. The only reason you might see a new gun is because they're showing how they chose to animate it. Also, I realize that it says vault recording video on all of the lectures, but those lectures, unless for some reason not put behind the paywall, are behind a paywall. That paywall is about $500 if you do not attend GDC. Anyway, as soon as I have links available to the lectures in any sort of fashion, I will link them in the description. But you should probably find me on Twitter so you can get connected to the links right away instead of checking back to this description. You can find me on Twitter at Dedo's Destiny. Once the lectures are available, I will be watching all of them and doing full reviews of anything I deem important. I will, for the most part, be ignoring any technical aspects of physically building Destiny and will be sticking to game information. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully, we get access to these lectures soon. And if we do, don't worry, I will keep you posted. If you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to post in the comments, and I will try to clarify for you.